Okay, I did look at your solutions that you submitted online yesterday, but I haven't got around to mark everyone's, okay, for the four questions that I gave. Okay, but generally when I look through, okay, I think some of you are still a bit lost when it comes to product one. Okay, so let me just summarize. Okay. So the main purpose of product move is to look at how do we differentiate things like this. Are we ready? Okay, the purpose of product row is to look at the product of things. So in this case, we have 2x to the power of 4 minus 1 times 5x plus 6 to the power of 4. It is a product. Okay, intuitively, you may want to think of differentiating part by part. But for product row itself, we know that it actually doesn't work that way. Okay, the product row, how to remember it? Okay. I will write in symbols, uh, okay, so square and a star. So a product of two things, square and a star. That means that your dy over dx will be, you keep the left side times differentiate the right side. I will put the differentiation with a, a prime, okay, a philosophy on top to indicate differentiation. Plus, keep the right side, differentiate the left side. Okay, so keep left, <laughs> differentiate right, okay, plus keep right, differentiate left. Okay, you have to remember it with such uh, momentum, uh, okay, with this kind of routine. Alright, so that is the rule when it comes to product rule. Okay, so how this applies for the equation I'm giving you at the top, that will mean that dy over dx will be keeping the left side, differentiate the right side. Now in terms of differentiating the right side, we have to use our chain rule because it is to the power of 4. So that means that our power needs to bring down then the base maintain power minus 1 and then we must also remember to differentiate the inside which is 5. Okay, so this is the differentiation of 5x plus 6 to the power of 4. And then we continue with add okay, the differentiation of the right side eh, sorry, keep the right side then differentiate the left side, okay? The left side is just to a power of 1, so we don't need to do much, we just have to differentiate the inside only, okay? And that will be... like that.
Okay? So, it is perfectly fine to leave your answer in this manner already. Okay? Any questions? All good, huh? Okay. So, I saw that there was a problem, especially for question 2 of exercise 4.3. Let me just do A and B. Okay? Then the things in 
inside the brackets x square root x okay what does it actually mean we need to know that x square root x means that x to the power one times x to the power half okay and when the bases are the same the powers can add up so it's one plus half which is x power three over two okay so there's something that will challenge your indices knowledge so we get x power three over two plus one okay so i see that uh, most of you are stuck at this part okay then dy over dx Okay, keep left, differentiate right, okay, plus 1 is 0, then we keep right, differentiate left, okay. Then we tidy things up, simplify it. Okay, they may ask you to 
they may expect you to tidy things up a little bit. Okay, so we give you a touch on that when it comes to caution. Okay, but for product rule, this is really good enough already. Okay, now. Because usually there isn't much things to factorize. There isn't, there isn't a lot of things that's in common. Uh, text will answer give it factorized form for you. So you there's no need to go into that that, that level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, questions? I know that the textbook answer key they will put it into factorized form and all that, but we don't really have to dive into that level. Lah. Because it's not all the time it will be that way. This is really good enough for you. Okay? Alright, any questions?
negative x. Is that all? Power negative 2. Okay. Alright, so let's do a check. Okay, differentiation 1 plus x to the power negative 1. Differentiate 1, you get 0. Differentiate this thing, power comes down, so it's negative x. Power minus 1, so negative so this differentiation is correct, likewise the y position. Okay. Then now we simplify it. Okay. Usually we put the coefficient in the front, just a single number we put in the front. Then for this negative sign, it's possible to actually bring it out, so negative x plus 2 to the power of 3. 1 over x squared. Okay. Then if you want to simplify it further, you may also want to write it like that.